Hi, I'm Ben from Covex. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the KAL range of security from Covex. So the KLL range, there's three pin sizes to choose from. There's a 6, a 10 and a 14 mil pin. The 10 and the 14 are sold secure gold rated. In the box you get obviously your KLL uh, disc lock, whichever size pin you choose. You get your three keys with the very important unique key number here and it's a six pin uh, key number, so that's six pin bowel. You get the Allen key, a lithium battery and a small instruction manual. So when you get your KLL uh, alarm disc lock, the first thing you'll need to do is fit the battery. So to do that, you need your key, the disc lock, just undo it, remove the key, and then with the Allen key provided, there's a little screw at the end, just undo that screw. You've got your screw, then you've got the stainless steel hardened plate and then the alarm module. So to put the alarm module in, you just need to remove the film from the battery that comes in the packet, fit the alarm, put it back in, put the cover plate back on, and then put the screw back in. You'll feel it's tight because this outer plate is pressure fitted to make it weatherproof. Then once it's nipped tight, ready to go. So part of the KAL family you've got the 10 and the 14 mil locking pin. The biggest difference with this with anything else in the Covix range is that this is a stainless steel body. The other is a zinc alloy so this is a much much stronger unit. I've mentioned that there's a six pin barrel in this but some other things you've got to look at is the fact that it's got the double locking pin the 10 or the 12, the only difference is this shaft here is a 10 or 12 mil. They are all stainless steel with a carbide shaft running through it, just for that extra cut resistance. And you've also got the stainless steel topping plate here. So if you try and drill it out, it generates the heat and then that becomes hardened steel. You've also got the benefit of the 120 decibel alarm module. So the alarm module on the KLL range, the 10 and the 14, are slightly different to the rest of the range, as in it actually is armed by being fixed to a disc. It still goes the, the same cycle, but what you find is you get, you actually have to apply it over something metal to get it to arm. Two beeps is not armed, one beep is armed. So if we arm that for a moment, remove the key, gives you 10 seconds to get the cover on, now it's armed, so all we need to do is give it a little shake, give you the warning beeps and then the alarm will go off. To disarm it, obviously even just remove, putting the key in it wouldn't disarm it, you actually have to remove it from the disc. And that's obviously market leading 120 decibels. So I just wanted to show you a KLL 10 that's actually been attacked um, in a lab. So I just want to talk you through some of the attack systems that we've done and how the actual disc lock has stood up to it. So the first thing we'll look at is the fact that they've attempted to drill this out. Now obviously I've said in the video that this is a stainless steel plate here. You can drill out initially, um, but as you generate heat, obviously it turns it to hardened steel. So what's happened is this barrel has just turned into hardened steel, which is a incredibly difficult to, to drill out. You can also see here they've attempted to actually knock the barrel in its entirety out of the disc lock. Um, it's quite a common um, attack method with a screwdriver and a hammer and you put enough, enough pressure on it you break the little pin inside and the whole barrel falls out but as you can see this is still well and truly attached. They've also attempted to um, cut through. Now this is stainless steel, not a zinc alloy, so it is a hard metal um, and it takes a lot of effort to cut through this with a hacksaw on that angle as well as through this angle here. I've, obviously I've said that this is more of a, a lab test attack. It's really difficult to put a drill through the bottom here, but what we've tried to do is see if we can drill out the bottom um, 
and that's been unsuccessful as well. As well as hitting it with a hammer to see if we can create a shatter or a crack. Um, this was also freeze tested, so the normal plumber's um, pipe freezer. Um, to see if we can make it brittle. Now one of the things that is unique, or not unique, one of the things which is really important for the KLL range and some of the other disc locks as well which I've mentioned is the double locking mechanism. So what you'll see on this side is there's a pressure, there's a bend here and it goes on the other side as well. What some bike thieves will do is they'll put a wedge through here, hit it with a hammer and what it does with some of the other disc locks, it can prise it open because there's nothing actually holding this bottom plate here. But by having the double locking pin, it stops this pulling out here. And for a disc lock to take this amount of abuse and still hold its integrity, it's really impressive. So the KLL range of disc locks is available through any of your JNS outlets as well as JNS online at jnsaccessories.co.uk.